Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial. Today we are going to be focusing on how to export your Minecraft mod. Um, now this will work with both IntelliJ and Eclipse, and as a matter of fact, we're not even going to be using either of them. I just have this open, um, just, I, I don't know why. <laughs> but here's my mod. You know, I have my code for it. it. It's a very simple mod right now, I'm not done with it, um, but let's get right into it. So. You have your your IDE open. It might be Eclipse. It might look like this. In which case, it's an IntelliJ. It's IntelliJ. Doesn't matter. What you're gonna want to do instead is close out of this because what you might think we are going to do is go into File Project Structure. We're gonna create some artifacts and then we're gonna export it from here. Instead, what we're gonna do, um, Forge has this built-in feature, um, or not feature, built-in file into our pro files um, into your mod. So, right here, where you're developing your mod. So mine is right here in this folder on my desktop. Um, it should look something like this. Should should have a source, a run, a Gradle, Eclipse build, dot Gradle, those stuff. Um, and you want to go inside of here, and now you can do uh, one of three things. There's one method that's going to be the hardest, and it's it's the second most worth it. It doesn't really matter. Um, all of these methods are very very easy. Let's start with the first one. So first we're going to want to go into our build file, build folder, go into this libs folder which is short for libraries and check that nothing's in here. If there is something in here then delete it. Next you're going to want to go back to your main folder Oops. make sure nothing is selected so make sure nothing is selected just click on the side you want to hold control shift right click and you're going to want to do open PowerShell Windows here. Now this is going to be the best method to you to do. Um, now um, what you want to do is type in dot slash gradle w build. Once you've copied that down you want to press enter and now it should start building your project. As you can see, it said build successful. Now, what you want to do is go into your fo folder again and go to build libraries. Now you will have two jar files. If you do not have WinRAR installed, it might look a bit different, but that's okay. It, if you don't have WinRAR installed, then you should just have a Java or a jar folder, jar file icon up here. If not, then that's completely fine. Um, so now what you want to do is go into you, your search uh, bar and type in run. Now you want to click this run app or just press enter. And in here you want to type in percent app data percent backslash dot minecraft. This will bring you up to your minecraft folder. Chances are you already know how to do this. Now you want to go to mods and Make sure your mods folder is empty. Now you will go back to your folder with your two jar files. Now technically you do not need the second jar file so I'm just going to delete it. However if you're very very I don't know OCD like I am you're just going to want to paste both of them in. If not then you're fine. You can just paste one of them in and delete the other. So now we have our jar file in our Minecraft folder. Now this is where your ID comes in. Um, so you want to go to IntelliJ or Eclipse, doesn't matter which one you have. Um, either one is fine. And what you want to do is check which uh, version of Forge there is. The easiest way to do this is in Eclipse, you can just go down here to external libraries, open this up, and look at your Forge. It should be the second one, and it should be highlighted yellow. If not, that's fine. J just look for this forge <coughs> this forge file it should be the only file that says forge on it and right here these numbers 1.8.9 dash 11.15.1.2318 now these numbers will be different for you depending on what version you're using this is the version of forge i am using for this mod so i'm using version of forge or 
in this case Minecraft 1.8.9-11.15 etc. So once you've gotten that keep that open because you're gonna want to compare it to the version of Minecraft you have installed on your launcher. So you wanna you wanna open your Minecraft launcher and you wanna select your version of Forge and you want to make sure that these numbers match these exactly. So in this case it's 1.8.9 correct dash 11.15.1.2318 and if you don't have the correct version all you want to do is go to your browser and search uh, forge download go to your minecraft go to your forge um, page and select whichever version you um, you need or whichever version matches this one so let's say you have 1.7.10 so you're going to want to go to 1.7.10 right here so that would be oops, that would be right here 1.7.10 and you're going to want to download this um, but then let's say these last few numbers don't match you just want to do show all versions right and now you can see all of the versions okay so once you've done that just click play and now you're launching up minecraft So once Minecraft is launched, you can type you can go to your mods button and scroll down to your mod and now it shows me my mod that is installed. And now I have just crap. That's my mod name and this is all of this information actually is in my uh mod uh MC mod info file. You might not have this. Just make sure it's right here. It's displayed right here on this hierarchy right here. Press done. Now, if it did not load up, then that means you have an error with your code, um, with your actual uh, f uh, code uh, of your mod. And that I cannot help unless you give me a specific error in the comments below. So let's quit out of this and let's show you the other two least less efficient methods. So let's just delete the mod from this folder and delete it from this folder. Okay, so next, if you want to go old school, you can use CMD, command prompt. Wait, CMD, no, that doesn't mean, it. yeah, so command prompt. So you just want to go to command prompt right here. Now this is literally what you did right before this. You're using PowerShell, but in this case you're using the classic Microsoft version of um, or not Microsoft version, the classic version of command prompt or in this case if you're on Mac terminal in which case this is the method you will use um, uh, for Mac. So if you have multiple drives for example my mod is on the C D drive so I have a C drive and a D drive right um, and I, my, my folder is on the D drive you're just gonna want to do this now um, what I did was, whoops, what I did was, I just, I'm in the C drive right now, so what I want to do is I just want to type in D, like that, or, what, so, sorry, my bad, so, whichever letter your drive name is, and then just a colon. Now, if you do not have multiple drives, and you're already on the correct drive that your, your file is on, then skip that step. Okay, now you just want to type in CD space and you want to drag in your folder into here. And this is what it should look like, or it should look something like this. So you have CD, sorry, you have your drive name, the drive that you're currently in. And then you're, you have CD space, so basically go, do, go to um, the directory um, of this path so it should have quotations and then should have uh, this crap now press enter enter there we go and now we have entered into this folder see what I mean it's least less efficient it does the same exact thing now you want to type in a similar command that you did before um, so you're going to type in gradle now actually before I do this if you remember in PowerShell, all we had to do was open PowerShell here, Control Shift, 
then click uh, right click and then open PowerShell here and we do dot slash gradle w build well we don't we're not gonna do that instead what we're just gonna do because we've already done we've already done these previous tedious steps so of doing that dot slash we can just type in gradle w build and run it build successful go into your build file libraries and it does the exact same thing now I'm gonna get uh, onto the advantages. Now this includes debugging whatever error you might have if your build was unsuccessful. Um, right after I show you the third method, the easiest method, but it doesn't allow you to debug or, in other words, get an error. So you just wanna double-click your gradle.build.gradle file. Oh shit! Yep, just like that. Um, and now if we go into oh sorry my bad just double click this I believe or not hmm okay obviously I forgot how to do that that's embarrassing doesn't matter because it's the least efficient way to do this so what do I mean by that? Well, you cannot debug. So basically, what that would have done the same exact thing. It would build the files right in here. Um, however, it didn't work. But what that method was supposed to build um, the files, do the exact same thing without having to type anything out. It was literally just running one of those files. However, what it does not allow you to do is see the console. What do I mean by that? Well, when we do this, Control Shift. Right click open PowerShell and do dot slash gradle w uh sorry gradle w build. It'll build it. It'll show you all of this crap. You might not understand it, but at least you'll see this build successful. That's when you know everything's good. Go into your build libraries, find it, and import it. I'm just gonna delete it for now. Um but let's say you do have an error, let's say it says build unsuccessful. Um what you can do is do dot slash and it'll actually tell you this tell this to you, gradle dot gradle w build and then you want to do minus minus stack trace now if there is an error and you run it with this stack trace line then it's going to show you what that error is and where it, um, uh, where it came from however in this case I did not have an error so it's not going to give me the stack trace because there's no error um, to give the stack trace of but that is the advantage of doing it that way I would highly suggest doing it this way every time. Just open up command prompt, etc., and do the following. Um, now, if you're on Mac, you're just going to want to do the second option, which is, I'll run over it again, which is uh, so that it's a lot faster. So, just go into your terminal, and you're going to do CD, or sorry, go into the drive uh, you want. However, in Mac, I, I think there's only one drive, so ignore this step. So, now you're just going to do CD, space, drag in the folder oops drag in the folder and then press enter now you're in this folder and just do gradle w build and run it oh and if you're on mac you can also do uh, minus minus stack trace that'll also work for this too um, except you won't be doing it in the command prompt you'll be doing it in uh, the uh, terminal Let's just go to build libraries and you can see it built it right there um, i hope this helped thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Goodbye.